Rejuvenous. Yeah. Uh. Should it get you feel Listen, don't gentlemen, this is Boonox Communications. <laughs> it's Juvenus. Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of Juvenus. Our celebrity in the house is one of the fast rising comedians in Nigeria who came to the limelight after winning a comedy talent of ladies and gentlemen, MC Acapella. If all of us want to say we'll be Christians, one of my favorite jokes. All of us will still be Christians. We want to live like Christians. All of us will be here for the job bread. Jesus like bread. Read your Bible. The Bible said during his early days of miracle, after he turned water to wine, he fed 5,000 men with bread and sardine. Sorry, fish. He was going to give us an illustration in the Bible. He said, cast your bread into the... They were going to have their last supper. The Bible said he took the... Disciples go meet our master, teach us how to pray. He said, when you pray, say our father, give us this our daily bread. Nine devil notice say to like bread. Devil come go meet him. He said, Jesus, turn this stone to bread, make it up. <laughs> Jesus don't say if you do and we walk here, no go fulfill. He said, man shall not live by bread. Oh. As he look, he said, bread don't finish. He just sign out, I am the bread of life, chop me. <laughs> Back in the days, if pastor they pray for church, can't release anointing. <laughs> if you fall, let me say if you wish. Nobody they play with you again. They say neck away for for church. Leave her on a wish. Nowadays, girls they take to fall for church like fashion. After service, Tracy, did you fall today? <laughs> oh, you, you don't even know Jesus. Me, I fell. Oh. Oh, wow. Mr. Kabela, welcome to Jimmy. Yeah, really. Can you say something to us? Yeah, welcome to Germany. Uh, my name is Acapella, <laughs> aka Dollar Remix. I dash millions. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm in a job, big boy. <laughs> You've been um, in the on the steady rise since you won the AY Open Mic Night. Yeah. Eventually, it was in 2008. So, what's the journey so far? Okay, so far, thank God, um, I've never had a, a previous, a better previous year. Yes, but as in faith. Um, when I won the AY Open Mic Night, the industry was um, so challenging. We had too many young comedians on the rise, and um, I needed to do something different to sing with me. And so I decided to go clean, stop doing. I never did a vulgar joke, I've never done a vulgar joke before. And then I started doing intelligent materials. Materials you want to list in, and after the laughter, you go like, damn, these guys, I think, are. And uh, thank God it's. Has carved a niche for me, and um, by the grace of God, from then till now, it's been up, up, up all the way. Okay. Economically, how has it been? Comedy business, how rewarding has it been? Okay, um, for me, I wouldn't want to know. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't want to say um, it's not profitable, but compared to the kind, of, the kind of work we put, some of us who are very creative and very hyper creative, you know. Sometimes, if you want to compare the returns from the kind of effort you put in, this is this not working. But we are doing very well, trust me. Because you want to compare with some people who are not creative, you want to compare the returns they get because of who and who they know. Oh, yeah. Yes, that compared to you, who who's doing your thing with yourself and God and then yeah. the verse of good comedy. And you want to see the returns are not, it's not equal to what you put in. But we we'll make it our money by this place. We make money. <laughs> you launched your annual comedy show in February 13. Comedy goes to church. Yeah, so what do you hope to do differently as compared to other comedy concerts? Okay, Comedy Goes to Church is an initiative I brought, you know, um, considering the fact that God Himself is the author of any talent and then um, I decided to bring Comedy Goes to Church, take it back from the roots. And um, but the grace of God was so successful. But this year, uh, I'm doing next year. I actually lost it this year, yeah. and next year we're doing it again. This is a two of Comedy Goes Church. It's actually an annual branch. They all bring great comedians and before the Republic, and then bring gospel artists. Not like you come for a normal secular show, you want to see God, uh, you want to see comedians, and then you're seeing Whiskey, Casey. We need to do something for the Christian demographic, you know. But we see those same top comedians, but this time with top gospel. Artists. So this year we are just into switching artists. They are quite different from the artists. Last year we had me like crew, they had Eben. This year we are looking at Frank Edward. I mean the next edition we are looking at Frank Edward, Tim Godfrey, perhaps Gucci, if possible. And then the King of Comedy. Okay. 
in line with uh, the training coming in right now, do you also have the intention of releasing your videos, audios, and also having sitcom or TV in a radio? Yeah, trust me, because uh, one of the easiest ways to, to be in the people's space, one of the easiest ways to get to the consumers is to follow the trend. You don't want to sound I'm, I'm on my own. No, 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 because the consumers work with the follow trend too. Yeah. Because the end point of every product is to get to the consumers. If before they were used to watching black and white and now everybody's watching colors, you have to go there. So I have intentions of putting my works on YouTube, video, audio, do some comic skits, just to reach out to my fans and others. Okay, apart from comedy, do you do any other business? Okay, apart from comedy, I'm just an on-air personality. Okay, that's true. Yeah, I work on radio, apart from comedy, that's right. MC Acapella she has a lot to tell us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this one. Sometimes you need to check your route because sometimes when things make you, then they break you. It happened to Jesus. The letter when pass come from heaven, now there pass go. The Bible said the name of his heavenly father is Jehovah. Letter J, Abi. Heavenly father here, Joseph. J, Abi. In your name, Jesus. J, Abi. Baptized by John the Baptist. J, Abi. Inside River Jordan, J. Abi, from Bethlehem, Judah, J. Abi, who betray him? <laughs> and he was buried in Jerusalem, Abi. I never knew that he customized speaking in tongues until recently. I went to visit an uncle of mine before anything. They never even start prayer. Jehovah, from there, wife Gohala, Masotorobokaya. For night again, Jehovah, you have Gohala, Mandela Bosch. So my uncle called me, Sir Capella, you don't know God. I said, Why? He said, You don't speak tongue. I said, The spirit never come. He said, No, you need to speak in other tongues. Speak. I said, Okay, no, what I go speak. That morning, devotion won't start. In Peking, start again. Jehovah, from here, Nahala, Mandela Bosch. My uncle said, What's that? I said, no tongue. He said, speak it again. I said, man, the boss. He said, shut up. That's my wife's tongue. Speak your own. I'm speaking my wife's tongue. Welcome back, viewers. MC Acapella is still in the house. What's your take on public perception that comedy, uh, comedians repeat or recycle jokes? Okay, for me, if I, if I was a consumer who pays into shows, and then you're telling me the same joke I heard the other guy say. And for me, it's fraud. <laughs> you know, that, that's why I took it upon myself. That I said that I'm, I'm hyper creative because um, I used to place myself. In, you know, comedy is not like music where they hear to facing African people. They want to hear it again. Every business has its own formality. But, yeah. but these fans of comedy don't want to hear you repeat jokes. Yes. It's even more forgiving if it is the original owner of the joke telling his own jokes at different concerts. It happens everywhere, even in the U.S. But um, it's so annoying when you hear a joke perhaps from Alibaba or perhaps from Acapella and coming to the next show, you hear the same joke from Milan, you come to another show, you hear the same joke from Alibaba. The, the fan is confused. Who can't get these jokes? So who do I appreciate for it? You know, so for me, I think the major problem is the, um, the major problem is the influx of comedians now. Some people just sit at home and see you looking all fresh, look at the same man, I feel this thing now. Most of the young comedians that are coming in now are coming with no creativity. You can't come into a market that's competitive already, you want to buy into the audience, but you see materials that are down already. That's what is causing it because um, I want to believe that most of the made comedians, comedians who have name, who have brands, they work very hard, even very hard than the new comedians you hear of. The new comedians, they just sit back, watch some CD, they watch comedy goes church, they watch Night of a Thousand Lives, they watch AY Live, they're like, man, copy and paste this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's not, it's not welcoming, okay. in my own opinion, if I was a consumer, because it's like paying three times for one product. One product yeah. You hear the same joke from four, five, six, seven comedians, mm -hmm. and you're paying for all these for the shows. It's very annoying, trust me. It's in the Nigerian comedy industry, are there those you have as mentors or are there those you admire? Oh yeah, very well, very well. Um, in, in 2003, I actually started comedy in 2002, and sometime in 2005, I met the Don. I met the Don, and uh, the Don was putting me through many things, you know, how to make it big, how to get it big. And then I used to admire basketball. I love basketball so much. 
And then I don't know what is originality, even though I don't cry people's job. But I didn't know that it was referred to as originality. Do you understand? I just like Basketman's confidence, the way he comes out, the way he talks to the people as though they are friends, as though they know themselves before. I just admire him a lot. And then somebody else I like so very much. It's, um, I like Gidon. I like his spontaneity. Very, very spontaneous. Always on point. I like Gandoki for his gesticulations. And then I like his wife for his interpretation. With your steady rise in the industry, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, my God's grace. Um, we propose and God disposes, but I intend to be one of the most sought after brands in the Nigerian comedy industry. Or the entertainment industry at large, where your name is being mentioned anywhere and then you are, you are recognized. Where people can consider you as a success that can inspire other people. And so that's what I look up to, becoming one of the most identified brands. Because for people to bring you, for you to inspire other people, before the corporate markets, before journalists like you are, before they bring you to come um, inspire other people, they have considered you a success in what you are doing. And that's just what I look up to in the next five years. Okay. Um, what should the public expect from you now? Okay, now I am. <laughs> nothing else. I'm working on my next project, the next edition of Comedy Goes to Church. It's an annual concert I do every February. Uh, we did the maiden edition last time, I guess, but we had close to 3,000 people in the wow. Is it? I think I heard you read that the CD is out of something. Yeah, the CD is out, it's the market everywhere. So go and get Comedy Goes to Church. <laughs> yes, it's out of Comedy Goes to Church with a cappella. Yeah. Everybody in this industry is there. He is there too. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. go and get a copy so that you can support the ministry so that you can move to the permanent site. <laughs> yes, that's just what I'm working on for next year. It's February. Okay. So I'm seriously on that project to make it bigger. Okay, so finally, what's your word to our viewers watching this? Okay, trust me, there's no two genius. Keep it locked down here, don't touch the dial. If you touch the dial, I'll tell you. I get why. Mr. Capella, <laughs> thank you for coming to Juvenix. Um, viewers, you can get more copies of this so that you can read about MC Acapella. Please, and other I do, guys. This oh, is where the ministry moves. Yes. <laughs> so until I come here with next episode, I keep saying, keep watching Juvenix and keep buying Juvenix. Peace. Okay, I've said you can't just the best way for you to appreciate silence. Now, when they're off your generator, at that time, you will say, My brother, here, yeah, be day noisy. You. <laughs> you know, say, if you look for you will not say every Nigerian indirectly, now, nah, brother, enemy, but you don't know unconsciously if I did like a checkup. What's the particular like for your either? The first thing when they come in mind is to check whether I'm everybody. You go to open with you. Ah, thank God, now everywhere. <laughs> because no one say your neighbor, they like to know better. <laughs> You know, say when you go fast, when you pass, when you deserve pig, they go prize you join. You know, go no say like you get the prize. And you know, go too good, maybe too late. You got the way you go lean. When you go do HIV test, doctor go join you. Oh, my brother, they go, you get up. <laughs> and I say, woman, what the way you get chop, you don't go too fat, too much. Get the way you go fat. When they are wearing you on your wedding day, instead of your husband to take them, they propose now, bang, because your size is not the game. Hi, everyone, my name is Amapella, aka Dollar Mix, comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Keep watching. Juvenus TV, keep buying Juvenus magazine. So if you not buy her, I will buy you. You must watch her. Because this is where the ministry moves. Juvenus is published bi monthly by Pinox Communications Limited. For inquiries, event coverage, or advert placement, call 0803 360 8271. 0805 787 1199 0702 811 3638 or 0808 152 4499 or visit www.juvenis.punux.net. Juvenis Magazine. Inspiring the young at heart.